Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Sal speaking, welcome to another cooking video. Today I'm gonna cook some uh, aubergines, they're called the Tunisian one, we call it Tunisina, Melanzana Tunisina. I'm gonna cook this aubergine or eggplant as you wish, pretending I am cooking actual meat. We have a type of meat that we do bread meat, it's called cotoletta and it's basically the same principle and it's very very tasty. So check this out. This is a typical Sicilian recipe. My mom, you know, makes this recipe every now and then. And I want to thank my patrons for their support because I was able to get a cool new um, knife set. I've got a new set here. The new stuff. One knife is missing because it's here actually. So here is the, the knife. So this is a complete new set and I've got, uh, I also got a wooden board so I can cut my stuff in there, so let's get started! Okay, I'm gonna improvise this, this recipe a little bit. So, first of all, you need a neat kitchen and this is not my case. Unfortunately, my kitchen is just crazy, I should clean up a little bit more, but that's life, I'm really busy, I haven't got time for these things, but you know, that's the first thing because it's gonna be a mess, but here we have our wooden board. So I'm gonna use this wooden board, of course, to slice the aubergines. First thing first, free your aubergine from bondage. And I don't support this kind of thing because Nowadays, you know, we have our, all of our vegetables, fruits and all this stuff is wrapped into plastic. And this is, this is gross, really. I don't like this idea. Whenever I look at them, I think of them like they're like actual human beings, you know, they're plants, they're, you know, they exist, they're alive. When you're wrapping plastic around it, it's like you're killing somebody, you know, you're uh, asphyxiating somebody, if you can say that, you're suffocating somebody and this is not healthy for the plant and I think the, the quality of the food is gonna be compromised too. So don't do that. When you get back home from your shopping, deliver like, free your vegetables from the plastic, okay? Don't forget that. So we just need to slice it in a way that you can... So you have to do a little like this. should get a big board, I should get a big wooden board, but for the moment, this is it. These knives really are good, they cut really well. I believe they're from Switzerland and they're ceramic knives, so I would highly suggest you to get this type of knives. They really work well, they cut well, they're perfect. And um, yeah, they're fantastic. So here we have our stuff. So our aubergines are basically, you know, all sliced up. And so now we need to do something. Now we need to create the magic, okay? So I would suggest you to uh, put your stuff into this thing here. And of course, get rid of this. You don't need it. And yeah, we'll put the aubergines or eggplants here and we'll let it stay here for a while. Then we need to, uh, there's another step. Okay, we need to bread this stuff. How the heck are we gonna bread this stuff? So in order to do this, you need to get ready two things, breadcrumbs and I must tell you that Italian breadcrumbs are the best in the world because our bread is very good, especially in the south of Italy, we sold our bread is salted, so basically it adds taste to the recipe. At the moment I am, you know, not eating much salt, so if you want to avoid salt, remember that there will be salt in your breadcrumbs. F is Italian bread, of course. So, yeah, get the breadcrumbs, so we'll put the breadcrumbs in one plate and the, uh, we'll use, we will use the eggs on the other one, okay? So, check this out. So here we have two plates, okay, 
one plate, maybe to one plate we will put the bread crumbs. It's way easier this way. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very good. So here we have the breadcrumbs on one plate. Then we need to and then we need to put the eggs as well. So I got this fresh eggs this morning from the supermarket. It's just you know I'm sure they will be great. So I'm probably gonna be using two eggs for this recipe.
To make it you know, even more interesting, you can have some little you know, fennel seeds and the breadcrumbs, you can mix it together. You can add salt if you like, you can add black pepper, you can add, um, for example, I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. So just a little bit, you know, you can mix it together. And add a little bit of more breadcrumbs because this is gonna be too spicy then, so. So you can add all the, the, the type of, um, you can add all the type of seasoning you like, you know, make it the way you like the most, okay? So let's continue, let us continue. The aubergines somewhat absorb the uh, eggs, you know, it's, it's a perfect match. What a perfect match to put eggs and aubergines together or eggplants together. Fantastic, fantastic. These type of aubergines are just great. I love it so much. This is so tasty, you're gonna be surprised by the, you know, the plainness of this recipe and how good it tastes. So good, you know, you'll be so happy. And your, your husbands, you know, your wives, you know, you can surprise your wives, even you guys from the community of the sword, you know, take a break from the sword and have, and you know, get some time out of your, from your life and prepare some good recipe and this is the good time to do it. There will be more videos coming soon about the Romans, Roman recipes coming soon and, and I'll try to make recipes from other, you know, uh, periods of time, historical periods of time, so from ancient times and so forth, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be tasty for sure. I mean, in Sicily, many people do this type of recipe, you know, it's like grandma, it, basically this is a grandma recipe, you know. Okay, I'm trying to make room for the other ones. Because they, <laughs> really, they will taste like meat in a way, and it's good for, you know, vegetarians, for those of you who are vegetarians, it's a fantastic recipe, you know, fantastic. I'm gonna overlap some of them because I need more space. Maybe I'm gonna put in another tray. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. Very good. Very good stuff. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm excited. I'm happy to finally have a good meal. Here is like. 2 p.m. right now, so it's freaking late for a match, but what can I do? Um, I got late today. I was late, you know, so sorry about that. Well, with this eggs remaining here, you can make a small frittata. It's up to you. Okay, the time has come to stick them in the oven. I really like traditional things. I am a traditional guy. I am a real Sicilian man. And I like to share my culture with you and, you know, tell you some little secrets about my recipes and, and things like that. So it's been a pleasure. It's been great cooking for you and I hope you had fun with this recipe. I hope you will, you know, uh, be amazed by the quality of the food. So let's wait a few minutes and see what happens. Well, here is the final result. This is really a little bit crunchy, but really good. Of course, you don't need to do it with a fork. This is how it looks like. This is so good. I'm gonna show you. 
crispy and it's somewhat crunchy. Mmm, very good. Very tasty. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you feel sad, you better go sad. Bye bye. <laughs>